think I've ever been this excited to open a box of chocolates. Hey babes, Jess here, and today we are taking on the one, the only, the Dandelion Chocolate Advent Calendar for 2018. This is what chocolate confection geek dreams are made of at $110. And that's on sale from last year. We've got 25 boxes of confections, 12 confectioners, all using dandelion chocolate cacao and nibs to make magic happen. I am just geeking out. This is basically a bucket list item for me. I've been wanting to get it for a couple years now, and here it is. But of course, before I dive in to this majesty, I must ask you awesome peeps to hit those like and subscribe buttons for more amazing chocolate action like this guy. So we've got to talk about the packaging. This just feels amazing in person. I mean, we've got two-tone ribbon, green and blue. We've got the most complicated art of the painted ladies and of San Francisco and of owls and even the back, which tells you all about the makers. It's just, it's just, ugh. And of course, the people they've got here, we've got Neo Coco, we've got Michael's Chocolates, and even some makers I haven't really seen in Seattle, like Salty Sweet or Mojo Bakes. I mean, this is just San Francisco in a box, on the box, everything. With that, let, let's finally open it. So much for the dramatic reveal. I'm just gonna slide it down. Oh yeah. Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. In here we have all 25 boxes and each one has its own Californian animal or plant on it. And because it's Dandelion, they're extra fancy, there's actually a postcard that comes with it that tells you not only again about the makers on the back, but on the front it tells you all the species so you can learn more. This is just also an amazing little mini print. The one immediate real ding I have of this is that I'm not seeing an obvious way to know who's the maker or the ingredients from the outside of anything. So if you're someone with allergies, I would definitely have someone else open the boxes for you. Or at least, I wonder if Dandelion has the information online because I mean, I know who the makers are, but I can't tell any kind of allergies just from looking at the box. So we'll be doing maybe five or so, so you get an idea of what's in the box. After about five pieces of chocolate, your palette just goes away, it's, it's useless. With that, let's dive in. So the first one is the Snowy Egret and the California Polypody. Cool, it's a native fern. That's so neat. And it's things really cool that apparently the Snowy Egret is found on Alcatraz Island and hunts in the tide pools. That is a really cool geeky fact. So this is from Tiny Bee Chocolate. It is a Brigadero, which is a Brazilian variation on a truffle. And on the back, we do have full ingredients. So we've got sweetened condensed milk, the dandelion chocolate. They're using the Camino Verde, very nice. They have also got cane sugar, glucose, cacao nibs, and butter. And they do have a nut and milk warning for this, so good info. I am sad that the Brigadero is a mite squished, kind of comes with the packaging, but it is covered in cacao nibs. And Ecuadorian cacao nibs, which is where Camino Verde is, can be quite spicy. So that makes me quite happy because that's a nice truffle flavor combo. Oh yeah, it smells really like that earthy, spicy, almost espresso note. You know you're gonna get like all the chocolate. And it just covered all the way around in cacao nibs. Oh, beautiful. So this Brigadero, which I'm so sorry Brazilians if I'm mispronouncing it, my Brazilian is horrible, is less like eating a smooth, soft truffle and almost that like melting softness of fudge, but it's covered in cacao nibs. So you have that initial sweetness and then the earthiness of the cacao brings it all the way together. This is such an awesome entry into this box. It just makes you feel like, oh, oh, and I have to stop eating this to eat more stuff. Let's take on number two. So number two has the California poppy, California state flower as of 1903. But yeah, we have this solid gold dusted on the top chocolate coin by Sean Williams. It looks like we're using dandelion chocolate again from Ecuador from the Camino Verde, along with cane sugar and edible gold. 
they went there. Still, this this is it's a piece of gelt. You've got Hanukkah gelt. If I remember correctly, December 2nd this year is the first night of Hanukkah. Nice. Glad you went there, Dandelion. Let's actually open this guy up now. So I'm smelling the same notes, that earthiness, but it's musted down. I think that is the edible gold just getting in the way of my sampling goodness. Oh no, I'm getting covered in gold. Whatever shall I do but eat the chocolate? This is a really lengthy noted chocolate, very complex and really like sort of this like nutty, spicy finish, but the beginning is almost perfumed. Not my favorite style, but I appreciate just how many layers of flavors are going on here. It doesn't really have any high peaks of flavor, but it kind of just is like this mid baseline of just different flavors hitting you one after the other. That is fun. All right, number three. Number three has the Western Pond turtle on it. Ah, uh, okay, let's see. Door number three. All right, so I'm gonna skip this guy, sadly, because number three is from Michael's Chocolates. I just got to try them at the Northwest Chocolate Festival and they are the nicest peeps, but I am skipping it because it's a hazelnut praline and I'm still reactive from my allergy shot and I am allergic to hazelnuts. So, boo. My frustrations of the world aside, wait, there is more chocolate. Number four is all about koi on the front. And I love that there's information here about the 1984 World's Fair. Ooh, I'm excited about this because it says it's from Salty Sweet and it's chocolate covered caramel coated um, crunch. And what I think this is gonna be is a riff on matzo crack, which is a really bad name I use for caramelized matzo crunch. It is really covered in caramel or maybe even a toffee with this density. Okay, oh yes, and it's matzo. Yes, we're going for the Hanukkah theme. So we've got butter, brown sugar, matzo, and then dandelion chocolate from another region in Ecuador, the Costa Esmeraldas, and then cocoa butter and salt. And they do have a milk and wheat warning for this guy because duh. It, oh, this is just a pretty bite right here. And it's just loaded in sea salt and it's a flake salt. Oh, thank goodness. Flake salts dissolve on the tongue longer. So like think Maldon, think Fleur de Sel, think things that are going to have a lingering salt finish, which you need with this much sugar involved and the matzo should give us a little nice bit of crunch. So it is really more like eating a hard toffee than a caramel. I think about that sweetness of caramel and it's got this lovely burnt sugar note and the dark chocolate lends a really nice rounding note and then you end with the salt and still a little molasses flavor. This could be the start of a beautiful matzo friendship. Number five, we're looking at something called the Dudleya, named after Stanford University's first botany department lead. Very nice. And these are a type of succulent. Fancy. Let's see what's in here. Ah, another one I have to skip. This is from Jade Chocolates. It's an espresso tile, can't do coffee, with a speculose cookie. So that is my unboxing and preview of the Dandelion Chocolate 2018 advent calendar. Who do I think this is for? Me! Joke aside, this is for bucket list level dessert geeks, confection geeks. It felt like a really good like introduction to how all these makers think about confection. I personally felt it was totally worth the $110 price tag based on what I saw alone. That being said, it's $110, oh my freaking goodness. I could see doing this if you were unsure as something split between a couple people. Like I could see having a tasting party. I'm also really excited personally because there are a bunch of makers in here who I haven't tried before because you don't really get them outside of San Francisco. So yeah, like I said, this is really for me and uh, I kind of want to get it next year already and ugh budgeting this is gonna be fun. I would love to hear from you now in those comments below. Was there something you wanted to try? Cause you all need to try the caramelized matzo crunch. Just saying. And with that, I hope you have an epic every day and I will get you in the next video. Laters.